Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Linear Graph Let us try to understand Linear Graph. We know that a line graph consists of bits of line segments joined together. Let us see in this graph we are joining bits of lines to make a graph and that is why it is called a line graph. Now if we have such points such that if we join them we get an unbroken line something like this then we will call it as a linear graph and then we will say that sometimes the line graph may be a whole unbroken line such a graph is called a linear graph let us mark some points a b c d and e on our board now if we ask you to locate these points or tell us the location of these points somebody may say that E is in the center of the board A is on the far left of the board C is on the far right of the board B is on the upper half of the board or D is in the lower half of the board but these descriptions are not very valid descriptions and we found out a way graphically to locate points. We shall use a graph paper to do so and use Cartesian system of locating the points. Fixing a point with the help of two measurements a vertical line and a horizontal line came to be known as Cartesian system of locating points. In this system, we mark horizontal line as x-axis and the vertical line as y-axis and mark the point of their joining as the origin. The origin O takes the value 0, 0. That means X coordinates start with 0 and Y coordinates are starting with 0. Next, we decide the scale 1 centimeter as 1 unit. That means every 1 centimeter we will change the value on the X axis and same for the Y axis. So we write scale x axis 1 cm as 1 unit and on y also we are taking 1 cm as 1 unit and we mark the values 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and similarly on the y axis. Now suppose we have some points A, B and C then it is easy to find out their location. Let us try to find the location of A. From A if we draw a perpendicular line we reach 2 on the coordinate axis X and if we draw a perpendicular line on Y axis we will reach 0.4. Hence we can say that coordinate of A are 2 comma 4. First number denotes the coordinate on x axis and the second number denotes the coordinate on y axis. Similarly, let us locate point B. Then if we draw the perpendicular on x axis, we reach point 5 and on y axis we reach point 1. Hence the coordinates of point B are 
five and one for point C if we draw the perpendicular we reach six on the x axis and on the y axis we reach six point five so the coordinates are six and six point five and now we can say that coordinates of point A are 2 and 4, of B are 5 and 1, and coordinates of point C are 6 and 6.5. Let us read the question. Plot the point 4, 3 on a graph sheet. Is it the same as the point 3, 4? So we have to plot points 4, 3 and 3, 4 and see whether they are same points or not. Let us first plot point 4, 3. That means 4 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. 1, 2 and 3. Hence we have plotted the point 4, 3. Now let us plot 3, 4. That means x coordinate 3 and y coordinate 4. That is we have 3, 4. And clearly 4, 3 and 3, 4 are two different points. And in the answer we will write from graph 4, 3 and 3, 4 are two different points.